welcome to another marathon video today's topic is geometric distribution um this is part of the s1 syllabus uh so let's start doing the questions on average one in 20 members of the population of this country has a particular dna feature members of the population are selected at random until one is found who has this feature so the prob select uh, the probability of success is one out of 20 which is 0 0.05 okay and the probability that the first uh, person to have this feature is the sixth person selected so i am asking you the probability of the sixth person so q power r minus one and p power one okay let's check if you have the correct answer 0.95 power 5 into 0 0.05 i get 0 0.0387 not among the first 10 selected so probability of x greater than 10 um the probability of greater than 10 let's go back and look at our formulas uh we have formulas for greater than and less than let's look at those so greater than is q power r and less than or equals to is 1 minus q power r you can also construct formulas for x is less than r that becomes uh, 1 minus q power r minus 1 and for greater than or equals to r becomes q power r minus 1 okay so we have formulas so greater than 10 is q power r which is 0 0.95 power 10 0.95 power 10 gives me 0 0.599 but to find the expected number of people so expected number of people is just 1 over p so 1 over 0 0.05 which is 20. moving on to question 2 the probability that a certain sample of radioactive material limits an alpha particle in one unit of time is 0 0.14 uh in one unit of time no more than one alpha particle can be emitted the number of units of time up to and including the first in which an alpha particle is emitted is denoted by t okay um so probability of success is 0.14 find the probability of 5 so that's 0.86 power 5 minus 1.04 power uh, 0.14 power 1 0.0766 for less than 8 is 1 minus q power r minus 1 1 minus 0.86 power 8 minus 1 0.652 expected value of t is again 1 over 0 0.14 50 over 7 okay those are easy questions let's move on to question number three it says henry makes repeated attempts to light his gas fire he makes the uh, modeling assumption that the probability that the fire will light on any attempt is one third let x be the number of attempts at lightening the fire up to and including the first successful attempt uh name the distribution so it's a geometric distribution um geometric let's write that down first and another set of assumption uh, that i need is that um the probability of success at get each attempt is the same um so it's also the same uh it's also independent you can also write that so each attempt is independent and the probability of this of success remains constant throughout in the rest of the question you should use the geometric uh, the user distribution in part one so i've named a geometric distribution so that's what i'm going to use so that's two third power four minus one and one third power one so eight over eighty one part b Less than 4 is 1 minus q power r minus 1, 1 minus
you said power four minus one. Nineteen over twenty seven. So the value of expected value of x. So one over one third gives me three. And he has to light uh, the fire once a day starting on March 1st. Calculate the probability that the first day on which fewer than four attempts are needed to light the fire is March 3rd. Um, so the simple idea to this question is on March 1, I need more than four. Multiplied by March 2, I again need more than four. More than or equals to four. And on March 3rd, I need fewer than 4. Okay, I can also treat it as a new geometric distribution where my probability of success is then 19 over 27, which is the first success on March 3rd. So I can then say 19, uh, the opposite of 19 over 27 is uh, basically more, that was fewer than 4. So um, more than or equals to 4 is 1 minus 19 over 27, which is 8 over 27. So 8 over 27 into 8 over 27 into 19 over 27. Let's check if we have the correct answer. We have 0 0.0618, and that is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question, it says the coin is biased so that the probability that it will show heads on any throw is two thirds. The coin is thrown repeatedly. The number of throws up to and including the first head is denoted by x. Find the probability of x equals to four. So that is one third power four minus one and two third power one. Probability of x less than 4 is 1 minus q power r minus 1. I think this answer seems a little wrong. I will have to check this answer. Oh, my bad. Twenty six over twenty seven. Part three. Expected value of x is one over two thirds, which is three over two, which is one point five. Question number five, it says a random variable x has the distribution this find expected value of x. So one over one fifth gives me five. 4 uh, probability of 4 so 4 over 5 power 4 minus 1 1 over 5 power 1 so that should give me 64 over 625 part c probability of x greater than 4 so that's simply just q power r which is 4 over 5 power 4 it gives me 256 over 625. I think those are all simple. Um, a random variable y has the distribution this. Show that probability of y is 
odd um, is this. Okay, so y is odd. So let's take a few trial values. So let's say that y was 1 or y was 3 or y was 5. So I'll have the formula q power r minus 1, p power 1, q power r minus 1, p power 1, q power r minus 1, and p power 1. If I solve this, I get p q square p plus q power 4p. And this keeps going on. Then it says use the formula for the sum to infinity of a geometric progression to show that probability of y is odd. Now, what you should understand here is that when I say y is odd, this is an infinite uh, set of numbers. So it starts with 1 and then 3 and then 7 and so on. But I see a pattern emerging to the probabilities that I have here. Um, the first was p, then got q square p plus q power 4p. So what I can observe is that to obtain every subsequent term, I am multiplying by q squared. So the common ratio or r is q squared. The first term is p. The first term is p. And then if I want to calculate the sum to infinity, it's a over 1 minus r. So I get p over 1 minus q squared. Now p itself is 1 minus q and 1 minus q squared can be factorized to 1 minus q into 1 plus q. One of these cancels out and I get 1 over 1 plus q. Okay. Question 6. It says Erica is a bird watcher. The probability that she will see a woodpecker on any given day is 1 8. It is assumed that um, this probability is unaffected by whether she has seen a woodpecker on any other day. Calculate the probability that Erica sees the first woodpecker on the third day. So, probability of x equals to 3, q power r minus 1, p power 1. After the third day, so that's q power r, that's 7 over 8 power 3. Um, that's 49 over 512, and that's 343 over 512. Find the expected number of days, so expected number of um, x is basically 1 over 1 8, which is 8. Then part 3 says calculate the probability that she sees a woodpecker on exactly two days in the first 15 days. Now I've told you how many days are there. So there's not an infinite number of days. So this is no longer a geometric progression. We moved on to an arithmetic uh, a binomial uh, distribution. I'm no longer on a geometric distribution. So let's see what this question requires that. My success is still 1 over 8. What do I want? I want the probability on exactly 2 days. So 15c2 q power n minus r and p power r. Let's calculate that on our calculator. Zero point two eight nine. That is the correct answer. Question seven: Thirty percent of people own a talk to phone. Um, people are selected at random one at a time and asked whether they own, own a talk to phone. The number of people questioned up to and including the first person. So that tells you it's a geometric progression. Own a talk to phone is denoted by x. Find the probability of four. So q power r minus 1, p power 1. Greater than 4 is q power r, so 0 0.7 power 4 minus 1, uh, 0 0.7 power 4. 
less than 6 less than 6 is 1 minus q power r minus 1 1 minus 0.7 power 6 minus 1 Point one zero two nine that rounds off to point one zero three point two four zero point eight three two zone P here. Okay. Andy makes repeated attempts to thread a needle. The number of attempts up to and including his first success is denoted by x. State two conditions necessary for x to have a geometric distribution. So there can be numerous conditions that says attempts at threading are independent. So every attempt is independent. Probability of threading is constant. I could also say that there are infinite trials, and uh, yeah. Those could be the three conditions for a geometric distribution to exist. Assuming that x has a geometric distribution 0 0.3, find probability of 5. So that's 0 0.7 power 5 minus 1 into 0 0.3 power 1. Point zero seven two zero. Greater than 5 is q power r. Suggest so the reason why one of the conditions you given in, uh, you have given in part 1 might not be satisfied in this context. The easy answer to that question is that um the next trial is affected by the previous trial you can get better with experience or you can get you know sort of worse off as well where your needle gets damaged or the thread gets damaged so it's likely to improve with practice hence independence is unlikely and the probability of success is therefore not constant okay Question 9, R and S are independent events, uh, random variables where each having the probabilities, um, this find probability of R equals to 1 and S equals to 1. Okay, so for probability of R equals to 1, I have Q power R minus 1, P power 1 into, it says and, therefore I'm going to say into, Q power R minus 1 and P power 1, so R is 1. So I have p into p which is p squared. Show that r equals to 3 and s equals to 3. So when r equals to 3 the probability is q power 3 minus 1 p power 1 into q power 3 minus 1 p power 1 for s as well. So I get q power 4 into p squared. Okay, that's the correct answer. It says use the formula for sum to infinity of a geometric progression to show this. So when I say probability of r equals to s, I'm talking about r equals to 1 and s equals to 1 plus probability of r equals to 2 and s equals to 2 plus probability of r equals to 3 and s equals to 3 and so on. So this was p squared and this was q power 4 p squared. Let's calculate the one in the middle. Uh, I have q power 2 minus 1 p power 1 into q power 2 minus 1 p power 1. So I have p squared, q squared p squared and q power 4 p squared. So what I notice is that this progression is continuing. Every subsequent term is being multiplied by q squared. Uh, Q square, so the common ratio is therefore Q square. The first term is P square, the sum to infinity is A over 1 minus R.
p square over 1 minus q square. So I have, what do I need to express in terms of p? So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to say that Okay, let's simplify this. This can become 1 minus q into 1 plus q. And that can become 1 minus q full square. So one of these cancels out. I get 1 minus q in the numerator and 1 plus q in the denominator. I have 1 minus q is p and q is 1 minus p so i get p over 2 minus p a little bit of algebra there but perfectly doable okay that is that let's see the next question it says question number 10 um the proportion of people who watch west street on television is 30 percent of market research interviews uh, people at random in order to contact viewers of s street each day she has to contact a certain number of viewers of s street at the end of one day she finds that she needs to contact just one more viewer of s street so i'm talking about my last um, person so i just want to be successful one more time find the probability that the number of interviews required is four so um so how many more interviews do i require i require four interviews so i can fail 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 and then succeed that makes it a geometric distribution so i can say that i'm calculating the probability of four so that's 0 0.7 power 4 minus 1 0 0.3 power 1 it's 0 0.103 less than 4 so less than 4 has the formula 1 minus q power r minus 1 1 minus 0.7 power 4 minus 1. I think that should be 0.657. Then says near the end of another day, she finds that she needs to contact just two more viewers. So I'm no longer talking about just one success. I'm talking about two successful outcomes and that presents to me a scenario that a geometric distribution alone cannot handle. So you should be aware of that. Find the probability that the number of further interviews required is 5. Okay. So what's going to happen is that if I want two successes, my first four trials have one success. But remember that they can be in one success and but remember that they can be in any order and the last one is a success okay so on the fifth trial i will find the second person in the first four trials i'll find one person so that gives me two options either i can treat the first four trials as a binomial distribution where i have one success out of four i have four trials my probability of success is still the same i can say that i just want one success here and I want it to be multiplied by p here. Okay, so I get 4c1, 0.7 power 3, 0.3 power 1. And then I want a success at the end, so that's 0.3 at the end. Or I can also do this, I can write down the letters for you for the first four trials, and I can say that there are four letters, so four factorial divided by three factorial, three of these letters are common, and then one success at the end. So the first four can be in any order, which is why I have four factorial over three factorial. This should give you the same answer as a binomial. That's your call, how you want to do it. Um, I've told you both ways of doing it. Point one, two, three, four, eight. So point one, two, three. Okay. Now making this more difficult okay more than five so i want more than five so either i could have so either i could have six or seven but this can probably go to infinity since i need the second success to happen so what i can do is i can do one minus probability of five 
four, three, and two. Okay. I think this should work. Uh, point one, two, three, four, eight. Then I'm going to say that the last one is a success. So there are three more trials, and I'm doing it in the same way that I did for uh, the previous part. Um, power two point three power one minus two C one point seven power one point three power one minus one C one point seven power. Okay, all of these have to be multiplied with a P at the end. That's something that you have to remember. I have made that mistake, so let me just correct that mistake. into point three the last success so there's one success in the first three trials and then one success at the end so that makes a total of four persons being interviewed um similarly for this one minus one point three power one so it's in the same pattern as the previous question the previous part make sure that you understand the previous part before you do the next part uh which is important okay one minus point one two three four eight minus 3 into 0.7 squared into 0.3 squared minus 2 into 0.7 into 0.3 squared minus 0.3 squared yeah i get 0.528 that brings us to the end of the first uh marathon for geometric progression i hope this was productive for you please make sure to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching